This video is to show you how to use the dongle, which has first choice on it, and boot from the machine so you're running into, running with DOS with first choice. <clears throat> you just take your USB drive and you plug it in to your USB socket. Then you turn your computer on. So it's going to boot. Here is the hard drive here. So you see it's trying to boot up. And what it's going to do, is because this is the boot drive right here, it's going to bring up, there it is, it's first choice. So now you want to go and we want to edit a, something. So we're going to go down and uh, get an existing file. Let's go and get over here. I'm going to get, um, move the arrow over here. I got fox3.txt. It's just a regular file. It's going to be an ASCII file. And here's the file. Get rid of this guy there. <clears throat> and it says this is the title of Robert's new novel. It was a cold windy night when Robert was born to a werewolf and a fox fiction. Down at the bottom it says, so he's growing up, or he wants to keep his room den tidy. So what to do, just keep trying. I'm just going to add something here to show that's new. So I'm going to scroll down here to the text. Keep going down. I see there's a little problem here. Keep on trying. R-Y-I-N-G. We're going to fix that. And now I'm going to save it. So I'm going to hit the F2 key here. It says save a copy of the top. We're going to save as a different type of file because we got to print it as a regular DOS file. And we're going to save it as Fox4, F-O-X-4, dot T-X-T. And it's going to save in the file. So we hit enter. And there it is, type of file. We're going to print it as an ASCII file. And it's done. So now I'm just going to get rid of, of first choice. I'm going to hit a zero to get out of there. And we're just back to DOS. See, there's DOS. You just type in DIR and see your files. Put this in the doc directory here. So we're going to type in CD space doc. There it is. We'll type in DIR and see our files. And there's our new file, the Fox 4 file, right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just reboot the system. And we're going to have to take out the <coughs> USB drive, so it'll boot with Windows. So we're going to set this down here. And we're just going to turn the machine off here. And we're going to turn it back on again. But we're without the USB drive. So it's going to boot into Windows here. It'll be normally. So once we get the thing started to boot, and once we see that Windows shows up, the Windows logo is starting to boot, then we can go ahead and put our drive back in, the USB drive. It'll just become a regular hard drive now. Just a regular drive. It'll probably come up as drive E on my system. So we're putting it back in. And here we see boot Windows 10 is booting. It takes a while because Windows has a whole lot of thinking to do about something. The old DOS systems seem to come up a, a whole lot faster. So there it is, but it's not really booted. It's kind of booted, but it's still drawing a bunch of stuff here. It's trying to talk to Apple. It's trying to talk to Microsoft. They want to sell me stuff. Try to turn that off. But you can see it's still busy there because it's got the little guy there that's rotating around. So it won't really be able to do anything until well, it's drawn some more some more of these guys here so it's still thinking no it's thinking again still booting we're waiting okay so maybe so once it gets down here now we'll go down here we're going to right click put our thing down here still thinking see it's got the little rotating circle so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our mouse right here right click and we're going to come up here and we're going to bring up file explorer and that should come up in a, about a minute or so, well, more than a minute. And there's our drive D. 
is the one that's the that's going to be this guy right here that's drive e and there it is right there and there's a dos and all this so if i click on this just to bring it up there's all our files that we're looking at so the file that i had created was dot fox4 and doc so i'm going to go up here and open it up and there's our fox4 open that up it'll come up in notepad and there is my file so what to do just keep trying with the connected with the corrected spelling of trying so now all i have to do is print it file and then print and it's going to go with my print dialog i'm going to print to my really nice office jet printer and then i'm going to just click on the print and it's now printing go over to my printer here it is and we're going to see it print and there it is bring it around there is our file and you see at the very bottom it says what to do just keep trying and that's how you use the system